Hello everyone! Hey! And welcome to Uncut Gaming. Where we don't edit our videos. But we are healing the earth. Yeah. Or at least the veil. Which is... Um, what's the word? Decaying. Yes, yes. Which is horrible. Very horrible. Because of some um, generic um, enemy. <laughs> right. Yes, well, we are playing dentists. Dentists. Yes, fighting against land decay. Oh, interesting. Yeah. All right. So welcome to Mystic Vale. And um, not all of his expansions, but uh, two of its most recent, which are Twilight Garden and Conclave. We're going to talk about the differences between the base game and the first two expansions to these expansions. Yeah. But... And yeah, but uh, I think that overall the game isn't changing a lot from from expansion to expansion. So I think uh, it's it's uh, it's good to talk about everything at once. Uh, let's go over the rules quickly. It's part of our deck building uh, series. Series, yes. yes. We insisted to do that after Dominion because we like the game and you know it's a contra to Dominion. Yes. All right. Go on. So in Mystic Veil, vale, right. So in Mystic Veil, vale, we are taking turns one by one. Uh, in those turns, we are able to grab VP tokens, victory points tokens, and the game ends once this pile is over. Um, uh, each turn is comp uh, comprised of four little steps. The first one is the planting phase. We're gonna take cards, um, basically uh, sleeved cards from our deck. We both start with a almost identical deck and we are revealing cards until we see three decay icons mm -hmm. uh, both on our field which means cards on the table and also on uh, decay card decay icons on the card that is on top of the deck so in my example it would be one and then nothing and then another card another card and th this is it so now i have three decay icons um when it is my turn this is a, and this planning phase i can do um in other people's turns as well so that's fine and when yeah, it's it my, saves a bit of time yeah so on my turn i can decide to push my luck meaning push more cards onto the field um but if i get four um decay icons then i spoil which means that I lose my turn. I do get a small benefit, which I'll cover in a second. But other than that, I just lose my turn and I'm waiting for the next uh, turn. All cards go into the discard pile and I just start over. If, yep. I, if I don't spoil, then I'm in the harvest phase. The harvest phase uh, is basically buying more cards and, and sleeving those cards. So there are two types of cards. As you can see, there's the advancement cards, which are these um, transparent um, plastic cards that we sleeve onto these um, cards, base cards. And there are the Veil cards, which are these cards. Um, uh, the advancement cards come in level 1, 2, and 3, and the Veil cards come in level 1 and 2. But that doesn't really matter because each one of them has a cost and uh, they just get more expenses at, expensive as they level up. Um, so in my case, I have 3 mana. And I can use that mana to purchase these uh, um, advancement cards. So, for example, this card costs three. I could buy it and sleeve it wherever I want as long as I'm not covering up an existing part of the card. So this is illegal, but this is fine. And we'll cover what the specific cards are doing during the game. Yep. Um, I, I cannot use the ability of the card until I draw it up um, the second time. You can only use it in the planting phase, uh, uh, the harvest phase. Uh, yes, and um, the the Veil cards have a cost also, but they are in the um, these icons. Let's Which see are like mana name. types. Yeah, the spirit um, icon. So we have green, brown, yellow, and perhaps uh, purple, but we'll see it if we see it. Um, the purple one, if we have it as a mana, it's just wild card for the for the rest of the colors. And they do not get sleeved. They just put to the side and it's just passive, mostly passive abilities. Yeah, some of them have an active component, but they're usually in front of you and they're just there. Most yeah. of them are just for VP generation. Yeah. 
Now, um, some cards have VP that is written in gray, that is end of the game VP. Mm -hmm. Some cards have VP that is written in light blue, turquoise, which is take um, those tokens in the harvest phase. So this is the way the clock runs down. Yep. Um, and we have how many? 23? Yes. And in a two-player game, it's 23, yes. And then we go on to the discard file a phase where we just discard everything. The on-deck card becomes the new card in the field. And that is it. Basically, that's a turn. Yeah. So as Idan said, our decks are identical, except for a slight curve and the hero cards that we chose. Yes. So one of the cards that we um, sort of drafted before the game or selected before the game start started is a leader card, mm -hmm. which is special in the way that it They're has hero both cards. Okay. The leader card. Sure. So it has two faces. It, it, it starts with one face, but you can upgrade it. Yeah, um, it has a small icon that says that you need to spend this much mana in order to flip it to the right. other side, and then it has different abilities on the other yeah. side. Um, and we'll talk about them when we get to them. I do also want to mention that when we buy advancement cards, we can buy two of them, and when we buy veil cards, we can buy two of them. Um, per turn. Per turn. And there is this default pile of um, fertile soil, which is just... Man, basic mana generation and that they cost two and they're also available to um, and we purchase. can pick whichever we want so for example if you want fertile soil on top or bottom or middle you can yeah, pick as can, opposed to those right in which case it's just the ones that are available to yeah. you okay so um what's this token this token means that if i no one asked what's this token <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this token means that if I um, spoil because I decided to push my luck and spoil or because it just happened, um, I get to flip it. And this side says that um, one time usage, I can use it to gain two extra mana and then I flip it back. Yep. Um, and other than that, it's, it's worth minus three VP at the end of the game. What does yours do? Uh, this one is worth minus free VP on both sides, which yeah. is interesting. Yeah. Uh, if if it's on its uh, active side or its evoked side, yeah, I can use it to gain one mana or choose one card on my field or on deck to gain two of the night icons. Are there any cards with that one available? No, there are none. But you have the guardian icons. The Guardian mm. Arcans are just generic points for other cards as abilities. Some will give you abilities according to the number. So I can add two mm -hmm. if I flip this around. And when it's here is my last action in a turn, the last thing I do, I'm allowed to spend a uh, free to flip it back. Mm. So I don't necessarily have to spoil to use mm. it. But free That's is nice. rather expensive yes, till is. the late game. Yeah. Okay. So you want to start? Yeah, let's start. Oh, and I just drew my hero. That's sort. Uh, no, you have to explain it to everyone. Yeah, my leader. Sorry. So my leader gives me. Uh, first of all, yeah, it's a very cute bear. It looks like He's a called golden retriever. Bugleby. Oh, Bugleby. That's a that's a name. Yeah, it is a name. Yep. Yeah. So it uh, it gives me four points at the end of the game. It gives me one mana. It gives you a bear spirit. And it gives me a bear spirit, which I can use to buy. Uh, more cards and once you have five mana you'll upgrade it yep and then he starts giving me two vp tokens every time i i use him mm -hmm. um and then while in field if i were to spoil i can use him as the first card in my next turn and then choose another card in my field and keep that as my second card for my next turn so if i spoil i don't have to discard all cards i can uh make him stay and him with another card Mm -hmm. for my next one so that's basically it. it's, a, it's a cute little ability yeah it's not amazing but it sounds very nice and he also gives you yeah. an early point of mana and a spirit yep so that's good yep you are at two spoiled decay yeah two decay okay so i'll choose not to push my luck so push i it. push it no I'm kidding. by the way yeah i was gonna mention yeah. that so i have 
three mana. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. And uh, I could buy a Fertile Soil, and I could buy the Astromancer, which says while play when played. So not necessarily when I'm done moving cards and I'm in my harvest phase. I haven't uh, spoiled. It's during play when I'm moving cards. I can look at the top card of my deck and I and I may discard it. So that's interesting. And this one says it's the Sepulch Sepulcher. Sepulcher yep. of Elders. Okay. When played, you may unsleeve and remove this advancement for the game, then discard any number of any cards of your choice in your field. Eh, I'll take this one. So it's three. It's staying here. Once you're done with your turn. And it then refills, I assume right. you're done with your turn because yep. you don't have any more mana. Yep. This one gets refilled. Now I just want to... These are the one, the tier one. These are the tier two yep. and these are the tier three, right? Yep. Okay. And these are the tier two of the lands and these are the tier one of the lands. Yeah. yeah. This is not our usual layout, so I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> I just use it because it's very minimal. Now I wanted to wait till you're done to start with my turn. Okay. But I think we'll do it simultaneously yep. afterwards. Yep. I like to organize things so that I know how much I have of anything. Okay, now I'm not gonna push my luck because we have uh, 90 Ks initially. Nine out of 20 cards, correct. Yeah, so it's really a huge risk. Yep. So point. I'll pass. Yep. However, I have free mana, which is not bad, and I'm gonna use it to buy a. I don't like those fertile soil. Okay. So it's my turn, and I too also have only two mana, so I'm gonna buy a fertile soil, and then it's your turn again. So this is my discard, and now we start planting again. So I have two decays. You see, it's a good thing I didn't push my luck because I would have been out of it. Did you hurt yourself, honey? No, I also, I'm again having only two, two cards. Okay, so now I am up to, yeah, this is, uh, yep. we'll get there. Yep. We will get there. Mm -hmm. So basically I have three this is my discard, it doesn't count. And I think I have, what, six icons out? And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Decay cards. icons? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. No, wait, I saw five. I saw five decay icons. There are two here, there are two here, and there's one over here. You know what? Mm -hmm. I'm a big boy. Oh, gosh. Boom. Very good. Okay, now I theoretically I could keep on doing this mm -hmm. till I decide that I'm gonna stop or till I bust. Shouldn't this be... Um, I don't know, it should be side. on the inactive side. Yep. So now I have four, mm -hmm. which was in my personal opinion worth it because now I can have a hippogriff. Ooh. And I'm gonna take that hippogriff and I'm gonna hippogriff it over here. Ooh. Okay. Um, he is not impressed with my maneuvers. No. You guys are. Yes. Okay, so I think I am going to take a risk as well. Now, I'll just do the boring thing and get another Fertile Soil. All right. Your I turn. have two. I don't intend on pushing my luck this time around. Mm-hmm. Okay. I will, however, start making my fertile soil a bit more, uh, my cursed land a bit more worthwhile. It's your okay. turn. So now I have one, two, three, four, which is good. Now, this card, the Blackwood End, gives you a minus one curse token. Mm hmm. But it gives you a growth icon. So, what a growth icon does, it just cancels one decay icon on a card. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting. And um, the higher up cards, um, some of them play around with decay, uh, with um, cursed uh, tokens. They allow you to maybe discard them. Yeah, I think it's generally unreliable because you can never know exactly which cards are available yeah. and which are not. But uh, you do you, honey. 
Um, Besides one growth is nice. Yeah. Um, sure, let's try. So I'm going to take this one for four and stick it here. Yes, stick it over there, honey. Okay. What does the lore keeper do? Um, when played, reveal cards from the top of your deck until you reveal two cursed lands. Play one revealed card to your field, then discard the rest. The rest. Um, okay, that's that's not bad actually, but mm -hmm. I don't know. I think I'll go for the protective ward. Mm -hmm. So that's a four and it's also two mana icon. Yeah. So that will speed me up a bit. Yeah. And while on deck, you cannot spoil. I'm not sure how that helps me because if I push my luck, it's not on deck anymore. That's true. It's only if it's the on deck card, which which after you chosen to um, to push your luck. I'm sure there's some mechanism where it makes sense. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. So I I um I'm playing my Astromancer, which says. When played, look at the top card of your deck. You may discard it. I am choosing to keep it. And pushing onwards. And that's it. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, on it. And... Wow, six, honey. So while on deck or in field, gain one VP token each time you push. Nah. Um, Snapjaw, look at the top card of the level 3 advancement deck. You may buy that card for free <laughs> or put it back. <laughs> so random. So random. Okay. So let's see. What else? This 3. This is nice. This is another 2. This is a 3, which we said something about. Um, yes, that it's Sepulchre. Sepulchre. Yes. Okay, cards are going to continue. Reveal cards to discard the rest. Yep. Uh, okay, let's take this one because I like the VP on it. And I have another card. This one isn't available to me. Oh, sorry. But I will get with the four or with the three. Yeah, let's try... Um, didn't you say you have six? I have six. I used up two. Yeah, so now you have four. four. You said three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I said that this is... Uh, this one's nice, and you can cover over it without losing anything, right, which is icon. always a benefit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Sepulchre of the Elders. Yeah, I'll, I'll use it and see what happens. Sure. Your turn. Then discard any card to your choice in your field. This is slightly underwhelming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, whatever. But it still gives you one mana. So, you know, it's like one point yeah. over a meadow. And uh, mm -hmm. it's not that bad. Okay. I took a sacred soil. I have two spirit icons. Sadly, they do not correlate with any of the... Yeah. Uh, fields, veils available. Mm -hmm. So? So I only got fertile soil. Oh, so I have four again. Um, and this card is interesting because it gives me one VP per um, guardian on this card. Oh, and this one says, oh, oh, it's another one of those um, Blackwood Ents. Um, sh sure, sure. Let's go big on curse tokens, I guess. And it is your turn. I have a free. I considered pushing my luck. So that's one. But then I considered against it. I'm going to use the free Two. to buy the okay. uh, Grossmer Brood. And, uh, sure. May God be with me. Yep. Oh, this is nice. So this is the um, wild card. Wild spirit icon. Mm -hmm. You used to buy uh, whatever you want. Okay, so now I have four, but I get um, a curse icon. A curse. Um, just one? 
A curse token, yep. You have been given a cursed land token or cursed VP token or whatever. Yeah, you know, a thingy. One, two, you three, got a thingy four. Right? Um, so I think I'll take this one for two and perhaps a um, fertile soil for another two. And <clears throat> with that, it is your turn. Okay, so I just counted my discard, which I'm allowed to do. Yep. And I realized that all nine cursed lands are revealed. Mm. So there's absolutely no reason mm -hmm. not to push my luck. Very good. Now I have a total of six. And that six will be... Come on, something with mana. I need some mana, dang it. When played, reveal cards from the top of the deck until you reveal two cursed lines. One, two, three. Okay, so that's one. This is the other. I'm discarding this and this and just playing this one. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yes, honey? Reveal cards from the deck until you reveal two cursed lands. Play one revealed card to your field. Isn't this optional? No. Okay. And discard the rest. So theoretically, I busted, which is no, sad. no, 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 no. This Why? is part of the action. It doesn't get you to bust when played. Yes, play is before harvest. Mm hmm. Um, reveal cards from the top of your deck until you reveal two crystals. Play one revealed card to your field and discard the rest. So what happens is you. I'm too close to the mic. What happens is you reveal. Oh wait! I, oh, I reveal cards it, until got I got, got two. It. Sorry, my bad. I so got I confused. Spoiled. Okay, that's interesting. So I get to flip this and move all of this here and start over. So, so now it's my one, turn, right? Two, yes. Okay. Is that uh, confused? Still two. Oh gosh. Oh, this is another thing. Um, yeah, I don't want to discard it. Um, so I have one, two. So this goes here, this goes here, and this goes here, and this goes it's here. It's my turn, well. right? I'm not confused about anything. Well. I'll this take that as a there. yes. So I have four mana. Mm -hmm. Four mana will get me uh, very little. And I'm scared to push my luck, if I have to be honest, because there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards here, and six of them are cursed lands. So I'm slightly terrified at that. So I will take two fertile soils. I know it's not uh, the most interesting move, but hey, I don't want to bust too soon. So okay, so I have so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm gonna use five of them to upgrade Bugleby. Very good, honey. Yep. So that's been upgraded, and the uh, remaining um, four. <clears throat> I'm gonna use to get. Uh, one VP per. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna. Mm, yes, honey. Yes. Mm, well, this basically pays for itself every time. Um, I'm using it, so I might as well use it. Okay. And I don't have any other guardian cards, right? So this goes on a blank one. And we move forward. Okay, I have five. And I get out VP because of my early uh, sunrise. That's nice. Yep. I knew it should be worth it. Now, what do I do with five? There was a five card. I think I took it already. Um... I will spend free to spin this, which yeah. I can. Yeah. And I will spend two to fertile soil myself. 
What does it do when you flip it? Oh, it just... It's either one, or I can choose a card to get two guardians. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. When played, look at the top of me, discard it. I'm not discarding it. Not that it matters. Oh, it does matter. I'm not discarding it. Uh, here's Bugleby, which we all love. Um, here's another card. <clears throat> I have just one icon for now. Need to keep seeing this card as well. This is uh, decay number two. This is decay number three. Oh no, it's it's zeroed out because of the growth. So that's fine. So one, two, woo, and that's it. Three. Okay. So um, I'm not. I don't want to um, uh, push my luck. Although if I were to, then Bugleby would have given me something, but I'm not. Um, actually, yeah, no, I'm not. So <laughs> yeah, too, I have too much, too many things here. So first of all, let's see how many VP tokens I need to get, and I need to get three. Very good, honey. Oh, this one as well. So this one gives me um, one VP for each guardian, so that's a total of four. So that's a total of four VP. Yes. And minus two, and two curses. So another curse, please. Thank Are you. we calling it curse? Is it decaying VP? What no, is it? No, no, no. This is decay. This is curse. This is VP tokens. Sure. Okay. Fully Next up, let's you. see how many. How much money do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and potentially eleven. And you have three icons. Two of them necessarily bears. Yes. So let's start with the man. So I have again nine. This one says, when played, if you spoil again, one VP per card less than nine. No. This is 13, which is too much. This, when while on deck or in field, gain one VP each time you... All right. So, um, because I have this card, which gives me VP for every guardian token, I do want to take this card, which gives me two guardian token uh, icons. And when played, each guardian on this card... for. For each guardian on this card, look at that many cards from the top of your deck. Discard any of those cards and put the rest back in order. So that's... Oh! But I cannot cover... Oh, that's a shame. Yep. Okay. You uh, can put it elsewhere. I could theoretically put this here. Um, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, let's do that. Okay, very good, honey. So that's... So that's nine. And now let's see, let's look at, a, at my spirit tokens, spirit icons. So I have a bear, a bear. And a wild card on top. And one wild card. Um, so that I'm gives afraid that gives you nothing. nil. Oh, yeah, bears are unpopular at the moment. Yeah. Okay. So I have that's four. It. I'm going to take two fertile soils. Is it my turn? Yes, it is, honey. So I have two, maybe four. I think I'm gonna push my luck again. No, I won't because then I won't get to flip it again. Okay, so I have four, let's say. With that four, hmm. No, I'll just buy this one, I think, for two. And that's it, your turn. And now because um, we don't have any more level one cards, we just put a level two card. Let's do it this way so it's less confusing to me because okay. I have no interest in the sepulchers. Now, uh, since One. I already know that the next card is not decay, Two. I'm going to uh, push my luck. Three. And now I have this as a side. This is my on deck. And I have one, two, three, four, five, potentially six. What does this do? Remind me. When played, each guardian on this card, for each guardian on this card, look at the top, look at that many cards from from your top of the deck, and discard any of those cards and put the rest back in any order. Which is nice, I think. Yeah, it's really, really not bad, mm -hmm. but it's a bit expensive. Mm -hmm. I'll take it anyway. Okay. Let's see if I can make something out of this work. So I get. I one. also get one. Mm. VP from the card thingy. Okay. And now it's your turn. So I I get one curse token. 
And then I have six, which I can turn into an eight if I really want to. Winning field, if you spoil, uh, gain VP from VP tokens of this card as you would during harvest. Hmm, that's interesting. Sure, let's try that one. So that's, oh, I cannot put it anywhere. Okay, forget about that. So let's not try that one. Yeah. Though. So let's just take maybe while in deck, gain VP, show you push. No. Um, another bear. Um, other heart advancements added to this card cost three less. Nope. Hmm. That's interesting. Um, nope. Uh, when played, you may unsleep it or remove this advancement from the game, then discard any cards of your choice from the game. Uh, for lack of any better cards, I'm gonna take this one and put it here. And then I'm gonna take a fertile soil and put it Let's say I'll take the top one. There aren't any. It's like a middle one. And put it here. Your turn. I have an eight. Yeah. And even though I really don't like getting the uh, I played reveal decay, cards. Yeah, I and mean, you reveal two land cards. So this is not it. And while I don't like taking any decay, I think that's a good enough option at this point. So I took one card with a decay. Elon doesn't care. Decay means curse or decay means decay? Decay means decay. Okay. So I need to reveal two. I will quietly ignore go. that this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So I'll take this one and discard these, I think. Nah. No, I'll discard this one and put this one here. Okay, so I need. This goes here, this stays, uh, no, this is um, zero, so yep. that's it, okay. Is it my turn? Yes, it is. Okay. Wait. What? what? What was the last thing you did? I bought a fertile soil and a card from here. And then I played, right? Yep. And then I got that one. Okay, now yep. it's your turn. So I get one curse token and one VP token. Interesting. Um, I really need this one, uh, which I have room for. Yay! Great. Very good for In you. In terms honey. of mana, I one, two, three, four, five, six, so seven, eight. One. Yes, you have to flip it. I flipped it, and I get this seven, and I put it over. Mm, yeah, that's the only card I can play it on. Okay. Okay, so I played this, uh, when played for each guardian on this card, uh, look at that many cards from the top of your deck, discard any of those cards and return them in any order. So I'm going to flip this so I have four guardians, that mm -hmm. means I take the top four cards, I look at them, I discard as many as I want and I put them back in any order. Wow, that was... Uh, Highly useless, <laughs> but it doesn't really matter. It could have been useful. I it could have. So I keep on drawing and drawing. Oh wow, well, that's a good hand this time. Okay, so now it's my turn. I have first of all I have three different veil icons. Uh -huh. So that means that I can buy one of those two, mm -hmm. and that's about it. Let's see. If you were to spoil, if you were to spoil, they're identical. I'll take one of them. Okay. Now we know that I can freely spoil. As far as mana goes, let me just put things aside so I can count them efficiently. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm-hmm. In terms of seven, what can I get that's actually useful to me? I am not a fan of these cards. Mm -hmm. I really am not. 
Because the wizard is nice for you, mm -hmm. you who have been bombarding himself with curses. Yeah. I'll take Mr. Uh... You know what? No, I'm going to flip the token for free and I'm going to flip the hero for free. The leader? Great. So what does he do now? Harvest. Choose one card in your field until the end of the turn. This card gains one guardian and gains harvest or ongoing. Text ability of one of the other cards in your field hmm. or in the field of the player to your left or right. Sure. But... What? I, I can steal your abilities? That's Apparently. the thing? Sure. Okay, so what I'm going to do is purposefully spoil, <gasps> or at least, yeah, at least. Oh, no. Yeah, because I think it's worth it. Uh, when played, you may unsleeve and remove this advancement from the game. Let's say I don't want to do that. Oh, it's getting better and better. But now I spoiled. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, uh, while in field, if you spoil, so first of all, I suppose that this moves to this side. If you spoil, keep Bugleby as the first card in your field and any other card as the second card in your field instead of discarding them. So let's say I'm going to do take these two for my next turn. Now, this card says. While in field, if you spoil, mm -hmm. gain one VP mm -hmm. per card less than nine in your field and take another turn. So gaining VP per card less than nine means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Less than nine. Oh, it's two, right. Two VP, yes. Unless I'm misreading something. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. So it's two VP. Mm-hmm. And now I, I get to take another turn. So these ones stay. These all go away. And... They stay because they were underneath the cursed land? They... St so this one says I can take another turn. Yes, right? I and got And this it. one... Sta these two stay because of Bugleby's ability. What does he do? If you just spoil, keep Bugleby as the first card. Card in your got field it. and any other card in your... So your previous game. on deck was your third card. Okay, now you have to play it. Yes, so one... Okay, so that's two DK and that's three DK and I'm stopping here. Okay? Very good. So, <clears throat> I get four VP tokens and one curse. All right. And um, in terms of um, spirit tokens, I only have the bear, which is nothing. And in terms of, oh, this one says um, gain one VP for every guardian on this card. So, that's an additional two. And now, in terms of mana, I have one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I think I'll take. Nope, cannot use it. Um, other dimensions added to this card was. So I think I'll just take two fertile soils. Uh, I can just buy the one. Hmm. So I, so I won't use this. I'll just take the three and use it to buy a measly fertile soil. And that is it. Okay. I have a three. I'm gonna, no, this, this is a one token. It's now a two token. So I can go up to four. Going up to four oh, is virtually nothing. So I'm gonna get a fertile soil. And that is it. It's your turn, honey. Okay, um, that's my second decay, that's my third. Okay, um, I have four. I don't get any VP tokens this turn, so I'd rather push, I think. So I'm gonna push again, I push once more, and then I bust. Poor me. Flip it if you... No, I didn't use it. Okay, very good. Yeah. And my turn, I get two VP tokens, 
I also have four mana. And with those four mana, potentially five. I have potentially five. That's what I said, right? Yeah. I'm gonna get the frost wire. Okay. Worm. 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 Yeah, sure. Um. Okay. So I have four, five, six. I'm gonna use this one to gain this card. In terms of icons, I have only the one, which doesn't give me anything. So that is it. Your turn. When played, reveal cards until you reveal... Oh, so I'm going to bust. Great. So that's... Mazeltov? Yeah, so that's one. I didn't think that it might... Doesn't really matter. Everything goes away. So... Oh, wait, no. I don't bust. Because this one also has a growth on it. Yes. So I'm good. What? I'm good. Okay, very good, honey. You guys following? Because I'm not following. Mm. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're following after yeah. what Idan is doing. Yeah. Your turn, I think. Okay, sure. Uh, I get free VP tokens for these things. And I get one negative VP token. Not a five. Let's not jump. And then I get a five, potentially six. Icons wise, I have a bear and a sun, which doesn't do much. And I'll get this one. Mm -hmm. Since it's one VP at the end of the game, so I might as well use yeah. this turn for something. So I get five VP tokens and one curse. Those are theoretically infinite, so add another two. Yes, and then one curse. curse. And then I get one bear token, which I'm not going to use. And uh, one, two, three, four mana, which I'm going to use to buy nothing because nothing here gives me VP. So that's it. <clears throat> I started, right? Yes. yes. And so you go now, and that is it. Because we de we've depleted the VP tokens pile. I want to uh, figure out the configuration of this for a second. Okay. So in this case, I have two decay, and then this is my on deck, which is another two decay, which means I have four. Sorry? You, you, sorry? You, yeah? I have four decay at the moment reveal because this card Correct. has two decay. Yes. So that means I have to throw this, which cancels all the decay on one card that is not from a cursed land. So this one gets canceled. Now, since this is my last turn, I might as well push my luck. We canceled this decay, right? But you're not going to get the three VP, so you shouldn't have, right? But if it's over here, I don't get oh, that because true. it's my own deck. That's true. And so, yeah. So it doesn't really matter. What happens is I move it yeah. here, and then boom, and then I nice bust spoil. it, and that's yeah. okay. Yep. Okay. So let's uh, separate the cards to cards that give us VP and cards that do not. Yep. And then count them up. Yep. I'm at 17. Yeah, I'm on two, four, six, 
sorry, 2, 4, 6, 8 plus 6, that's um, 14. 2, 4, There's 6, 8. There's no way eight, you do not have more VP six. here. Come on. Yeah. You, yeah, you can continue. Oh, so we're at 14, right? No, no, no. I'm saying these all cancel out. This is zero in total, what you're holding. Yeah. So I won with what, 16 we said? 2, 4, 6, 8, 6, These eight, cancel four, out. This cancel I, out. I'm on This 40. is 3, 4, 5. Minus two brings us back to three. I am just gonna put these out here because they cancel out. Yes, they do. Okay. okay so we said three and eight is eleven. Thirteen, fourteen, seventeen. Very good. Okay. What? Yeah. What? Yeah. So, um, let's talk about Mystic Veil. Vale. I have a dire need to play this game again and to shoot the game again without all the gimmicky expansions. Yeah, which we is may, yeah, uh, we gonna be, do that. Yeah, we gonna be do a that. part of the review because the base game is very different from... It's like almost everything they added is a shtick. The heroes are okay. Well, uh, but, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's say this very quickly, and then we'll and then we'll go to the to the to the to the latest two expansions. Let's very briefly talk about Mystic Vale. But, so but Mystic that's Vale, part of the issue. It's yeah. impossible. <laughs> yeah, it's so, impossible. All right, all right. So go we can on. do this. We can say that go watch if you want. If you're not familiar with Mystic Vale base game, or at least Mystic Vale plus the first two expansions, go watch that video. Now, assuming that we've shot it, we've <laughs> shot it, and you've viewed it, let's talk about the latest two expansions. Now, just to make it really simple, we can cover it by mechanism. So, the first mechanism that comes in Twilight Garden mm -hmm. um, is the yes, um, curse tokens. Um, I think curse tokens. Um, are a bit too unwieldy because um, they are very high risk, high reward perhaps, but you ne really need to be able to remove them or otherwise not go wild with them because they do move the game a little bit faster, but you do get minus VP tokens. So what do you okay. think? I have a handful of questions rather than thoughts. Yeah. Okay, these cards. Did you select them from a specific expansion? Were they the cards that some setup suggested? Do we know what's here? So very good question. So when you play Mystic Veil and you have all the expansions, you can choose what they call conclaves, which are sets of cards mm -hmm. predefined by the game. So in this specific case, so we in were this specific playing conclave only conclave or a set, right? We we played only Twilight Garden. Okay, so in this particular case, you were one hundred percent sure that there are relevant cards that play with that mechanic. Yes, because we're playing only the Twilight Garden um, advancement cards. Correct. Okay. That's good, because in the base game, you just have a huge stack of cards and you can never be exactly sure which mechanisms will come into play and which will So not. let's talk about that. When you play with, when you get Conclave, in mm -hmm. general, you do get like um, definitions of sets and I've broken our cards to those definitions. So, so they're not huge stacks. When we play the base game, you'll see that they're not huge. And you sort of know what's in there and they play with themselves. They they interact with themselves. Would have been nice to know that. The reason I did not go for any of the oh, okay. of the negative VP token was because I still remembered we're playing like in the classic one and I was yeah. like, I am not taking yeah. that risk. Yeah. And yeah. then the wizard came up and I was like, oh, lucky it done. No, no, no. So, okay. So, so that's a hindrance to the game, but they also kind of fixed it by saying, don't play with all cards from all expansions. Use this, these specific sets. So that's around curse tokens. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about leaders. Leaders, I think, are nice. 
because they do give you a kind of uniqueness to your game style, maybe? Which could or could not be relevant. I have not used my leader's mm. ability even once, it just didn't come up, but I did use those 8 VP to win. 8 VP? Yeah, she oh, gives yeah. you 8 VP, yeah. which is, I mean, you start with 6. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a lot a of VP. Lot. Yeah. Um, and you do sort of get a choice at the beginning of the game, you are dealt two leaders and you, and you chose her. Yes. Okay. Any thoughts about leaders? I think they're, they're a good addition to the game. If you've played Mystic Veil vale a lot and you want a little bit more, then they're good. I would uh, use them, don't you? I think they're a bit too... Random. <laughs> Well, you have a choice of two, so it's not very random, but as far as utility goes, they're all over the place. You yeah. had a leader that was like, what, 25, minus 25 points if you don't upgrade it, or silly yeah. things like that. Yeah. And I do think that they're a bit too much. Yeah. I mean, you could easily call your leader deck and choose like four or five of the ones that make sense to you and just distribute those. Yeah. You could do that. The fact that they're there doesn't mean you have to use them. Yeah. But I do think that they were not balanced against each other yeah. at all. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, just a weird one. Yep. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's talk about these tokens. So in the base game, you you get these tokens to mark whether you've spoiled or you, you yeah, haven't. And they and only the give you... One mana. Yes. Um, so it's not the minus three points. It's just one mana. And it's just a utility to, to mark whether you've spoiled or not. These ones, though, that came with one of the expansions, I don't remember exactly which one, also go all over the place. Yes. Uh, all, all the way to the extent of one of them tells you to flip it in the air and whichever sides it lands on, it just lands on, which is super not our style. Yeah, and the one that I uh, that I didn't use said that if it's on the unused side, yeah, you must push your luck mm. every turn Which until is... you spoil, and then you move it to the other side. Yeah, but so you gotta one. admit that's yeah weird. Yeah. yeah, but but the same thing that we said about leaders, you can just pick and choose the ones that are to your liking mm -hmm. and just distribute those because. I think the ones we chose are relatively normal. Yeah. And we did use them. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I think um, in terms of overall recommendation, I think that if you have the base game, Mystic Veil, vale, and you like it, get the next two expansions and then let it be, I think. I don't think... I think there is enough content in the base game plus two expansions to not necessarily get these latest expansions. Um, oh, we haven't mentioned, but Conclave also comes with an ability to play up to six players. So the board gets really, really big and you have these sort of two sides to it and and and, and because two play if you play with six players, then you then two players are always playing at the same time and it rotates so that the game still moves rather quickly. That's conceptually very interesting. And there are two sides to the board and every half of the circle uses one and the other one uses the other one. So it's... And 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 there are interactions, but... Eh. If you guys are interested, write us and we'll do that. We might have to buy an additional five cameras and start editing our videos but we'll do that yeah it sounds i don't know who will do that but maybe there are people we who will that. yeah we will and the other thing that comes with conclave is these totems which are very we will cheat we will shoot it right in three different sessions yes so it's just the two of us yes <laughs> but playing we're three playing games. Yes. yes all at the same time sounds marvelous onwards so conclave comes with these totems um yeah i feed all these wait which also you, you get to pick one out of two at the beginning of the game, and they really uh, pump up the speed and, and the, just the, 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 the gameplay. Yeah, they give you a very strong injection of power early on. Yeah. 
and that's that's what the manual says that those speed up the game by a lot because they are extremely potent yeah now i insisted we play without them because i felt like this is more representative of the game as most people will be playing it yeah. rather than the tokens but if you have impatient guests and you're like i want to do a quick round so they'll see the feel of the game and decide whether they want to play it then this is it's there yeah. you don't have to use it but it's there yeah and it's Oh, I a do. good addition situationally. Yeah, I do also want to say that the maybe the the best thing about the Conclave expansion is that it gives you a really big box mm -hmm. that you can store all of the cards inside of it. But again, if you don't have all the expansions, then you don't have a lot of cards. But according, like um, taking a guess uh, based on the size of the box, there are going to be plenty other expansions, and maybe they'll listen to the general feedback that the cards are not balance and that it feels that it's going in a negative i think um direction all, overall so maybe the next two expansions will be a little bit more tight um and a little less um random but i i i'm sure that there'll be many more expansions coming i feel like this segment of the video was so all over about place that i i want to just summarize everything summarize everything yeah for me, this is a game that I like. This is not a top 10 game, but this is definitely a top 20 game and we play it... So what do you like about often. it? Often. What I do like about it, it gives me the same kick of Dominion. That is, I get to build a deck, I get to do interesting things, but it has what I like about Heart of Crown, which is a market and options that are not look at the cards initially, make a game plan, run that algorithm till you see who wins. AK Dominion, yes. Yes, so I like this over Dominion in general. The reason I say in general is because I think this is one of those cases where if this were a computer game, they would have patched it to Oblivion and mm -hmm. made a completely different game out of it. There are so many small things that I just don't understand why are they not here. I cannot tell from a card which expansion it yeah. belongs to. Yeah. Therefore, I cannot plan out the game so that the mechanisms work with each other, yeah, which is weird. what we do yeah. when we play Dominion or which is what the conclaves are supposed to solve. But I'd be happy if I could by myself without knowing all the cards automatically just say, okay, these are 10 that will work together. Yeah. Let's play with those and have fun with those and then just pick relevant mechanisms and because there's no iconography and there's no assortment to them, I can't do that, which is very, very, very weird. It's such a huge oversight. Yeah. But if you put all of that aside, and if you put all of those crazy mechanisms, which I dislike all of them, yeah. I really do. I, the reason we're playing, we don't play with those tokens yeah. when it's just the two of us or when we have company. I feel like they... Mm -hmm. They add too much randomization to a game that otherwise has plenty of randomization mm -hmm. and does not need any more. Mm -hmm. So we usually play without them. We might play with the heroes. We will definitely play without the totems. We just remove everything that's overly random. And when you play with the game like that, it's a lot of fun. It's a good game. The sleeving is nice. The fact that you have a variety of paths and a variety of mechanisms that might greatly reward you and might just not come up in the market is a fun element because usually those cards do several things. So it's not a huge deal if you don't get your engine running as well as you want it to, but it is a lot of fun when you do. Mm -hmm. So definitely good game, but um, yeah, customize is... it to your own liking. Yeah. Customize it to what you like in games i think that's the point of it that's why they added so many things that seem random maybe mm -hmm. someone likes flipping a coin and seeing what if happened? the token goes up or down yeah okay so i yeah i i mostly agree with you i think um i i like the fact that it's it's tactical and shiny and colorful and the art is spectacular yes um and i do like the sliving of the cards I think it's a very good um, base mechanism to use in other games as well. Um, so if I'm in the mood for a quick 
um, very tactical game. I think Mystic Veil vale is a is a very good option. It's also relatively noob friendly. Again, talking about the base game. Um, and so, yeah, that's it. I think. Okay. For me. Yep. How would you play it? Oh, which just mechanisms like you said, would you yeah, put in? Which I out? do like the leaders, but aside from that, um, that's it. I think we've tried enough times the these to um, tokens and um, the totems themselves, and there's they don't click yeah. for us. But no. then again, you don't have to. They're completely standalone. Nothing says anything yeah. about a specific token in the cards. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So that was Mystic Veil. Vale. That was Mystic Veil, vale, Twilight Garden, and Conclave. And that was, I think, one of our more convoluted reviews. Yeah, I think we weren't uh, like ready to cover this. Maybe I don't know. All right. Well, we hope that you still enjoyed this video and review, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.